Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the same email to sign up multiple accounts on any website. So basically if you have a website you want to get multiple accounts and you don't want to create different emails, you want to use the same email. So I'll show you how to do that. So first, why would you want to use the same email for multiple accounts? There could be various reasons like maybe you forgot the password and don't have access to the credentials. So you want to create a new account, but you don't want to create a new email. Maybe you're testing out a feature like you're a seller and you're a buyer and you want to create another account for the other side. Um, you know, you want might want to use your same email and sign up just to test out something on a site. Or maybe you just want two accounts on a site for, you know, any personal reasons. And some disclaimers, like some sites already support this, like using profiles or the like, and some sites don't allow this. So if it's a sensitive thing like banking, please, you know, avoid doing this. And again, I'm providing a tool, but use it at, at your own judgment so that you don't put it to bad use. So let's get right into the solution. So the key idea before I get into exactly how to do this is that if you have a email, let's say video at gmail.com, an inbox, then any email sent to video plus blank, like the blank can be anything, still goes to your same inbox. Still, You still get the same email. So like if this is your email, video at gmail.com, and I send an email to video plus one to three at gmail.com, you'll still get it. And if I send a vid email to video plus testing at gmail.com, you'll still get it. So anything after plus is just ignored and you can put anything there and it will still go to your same email and it works with any email provider, not just Gmail. So basically how would you use this, right? So let's say you have, there's a website, coolwebsite.com and you wanna create multiple accounts. So you can sign up the first account using video at gmail.com as your username or your email and you know, you'll get everything, communication, everything on your inbox. Now, let's say you forgot the password or something happened, you can't access the account and you wanna create a new account on coolwebsite.com, but you don't want a new email. So you can create a second account. This time you can sign up with video plus two at gmail.com. So the site is gonna think it's a different email, right? Cause it's not the same, but it's still gonna go to your same inbox, your same Gmail, right? So. Now, if something happens to this account, or maybe you just want a third account, you can sign up with like, let's say video plus C or video plus three, anything you want after the plus, and you can get a third account with coolwebsite.com, right? Which still goes to the same email. So this is how you can do this. And you know, what are some of the downsides just to keep in mind is that email is typically your username. So if you sign up using like plus, something you'll have to remember what you signed up with and you know if you if you forgot maybe you can search through your emails like the to field in your inbox will have the plus so let's say they actually sent it to video plus one two three at gmail.com in the to field you'll see that emails right um so you can search your previous emails with that website and find what your username was if you forgot and it cannot be used in cases where you use like login with Google, right? So some sites have like login with Google or login with certain email provider. Of course, you can't do this because this requires you to put in the email yourself. And, you know, in, in, on some sites, it's not allowed, they'll detect it. So, you know, please be careful and make sure you read the terms and conditions. So yeah, that's all I had for this video, a very short one. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.